What is going on guys, Idlewell here and this is episode number 3 of Beta Bitch. Um, we are starting off with a Russian league team in net. We have Akin Thief, left back Al Saldi, and Saldi, however you want to say it. Um, centre back Bruno Alves, centre back Bichetti, right back Anyakov, right mid Magridi, centre mid Carlos Eduardo, centre mid Danny, left mid Basufa. Up front, Eto and Doom BR. So let's get into this game. Um, now, this is a Friday when I am doing this commentary, so this will probably be up on the Saturday when all the uh, games are going on, which I'm going to talk about in this commentary. Um, I'm going to be talking about all the weekend fixtures. We've got nine to talk about, um, which is pretty good. And this guy has. An alright team, um, not that good chemistry. I don't know why he has Falcao and Jimmy and Default up front. Um, but, oh well, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll live with that. So, tomorrow in the Barclays Premier League, the first game to get us started is Chelsea versus Tottenham. Um, that is the 12.45 kickoff, um, early kickoff there. Um, I think that with how Tottenham are going at the moment and um, the race to fourth spot, it looks like they're just going to drop and drop. So um, I think that Chelsea will win that. Chelsea will win that 2-0, um, I think. Go on, Sammy Eto, use your black man purse. How's the keeper save that? Penalty! Oh, oh my god, I should have put that away, but oh well. Um, so yeah, I think it's going to be 2-0 Chelsea. Um, I could be wrong, but that's what I think it's going to be. Um, whoa, come on. Get to the... What are you doing? Yes. So 2-1 Chelsea, that is the uh, game on Sky Sports for the day. Um, now that ball's going to skid off. Look at uh, the snow. Oh my god. Why is it snowing? Why does it have to snow on a commentary? Not had snow in ages. But, um, oh well, we'll have to live. Um, but it does. Shit. Oh, come on. This guy doesn't look that good anyway. Get it out, keep it. Oh come on! Saw that developing. We so Tottenham versus Chelsea. I think that Chelsea are at home, so they probably will win. Um, yes, one 0 Samuel Eto. Samuel Leto. He cost all the 22 grand that I paid for him. He has gone really, really down in price. Um, he doesn't fit in with many teams, so he just fits in with this one. One, two. Oh. So, um, Chelsea versus Tottenham. I think Chelsea will win that. If you want to leave your predictions in the comments below, then please do so. Um, and just tell me who your team is. Um, next game we have Arsenal versus Villa. Um, I think that Villa will be struggling there because Arsenal are the farm team of the Premier League. Um, they are doing. They've not lost in six. I think it is. They won at Everton in midweek, so that should give us some more confidence. Um, and Villa aren't, aren't doing well. As the table suggests. Oh, he's still on the ball. Oh, look at this. Oh, my God. So, um, Villa, uh, I think we'll lose that one. Uh, I'm going for a 3 1 to top, uh, Arsenal. Go on, on your bike, Eto. Right into a good position. Oh. On the ball. Yeah, the, the roulette then over him. Um, so I think done. it's going to be 3-1 to Arsenal um, VP is in the RVP as it should say is in the form of his life um, I think he's the top Premier League goal scorer well I know he is because um, no one else has caught 
he's in the form that he is that's why Arsenal are where they are in the table I think so um, Arsenal win on that one next game is the Bolton versus Blackburn no oh, fuck off I hate keepers like that so the Bolton versus Blackburn game a really dog scrappy relegation battle fight there I do support Bolton now and I have got season tickets so I'll be going to that um, I really do hope after what's happened last weekend that we do we do win that um, and do it for Malamba and the club and the supporters so we are I'm predicting a 2-1 win to the Whites which are Bolton Wanderers obviously so really relegation fight there the at the bottom of the, the table Bolton even though Stadium Blackburn are revamped, getting really Sometimes really away from that now um, Junior Hylett is carrying that Robinho. team and Yukubu um, so we just got to watch them too um, so yeah next game is going to be Liverpool versus Wigan now what happened at midweek really did not help us with Liverpool losing 3-2 after being 2-0 up against QPR I really did think Liverpool are a better team than that so um, stands me up stands me up I'm not doing skill stands me up I'm just going to sweat this game out so yeah Wigan versus what are you doing you're going to go to the barn so uh, Wigan no yeah Wigan versus no Liverpool versus Wigan I should say um, shoot, what's the keeper doing you're going off pitch Liverpool better win that they are at home and Wigan are but not the farm team of the Premier League Yes, Dumbia with the finish at half time. And I think with that, I will predict that Liverpool should win 1 0. I think Liverpool will win 1 0. And I've been trying to um, do the Super 6. If you don't know what that is, it's on Sky, where you have, you have to predict the um, six games. And if you predict every single one of them right, then you get £1,000. Well, not 1,000, 100,000, sorry. Um, I don't, no one's ever done that. Um, I think the best they've ever done is got three right, and you think you get something like five grand for that. So it's free to enter if you want to go and check that out. Um, Super 6 on Sky Sports. So at half time, we have got the least of the possession. I don't know how, but he has, no, he has had no shots. So. He has no shots, but he has most possession. Right, hurry up, guys. Hurry up. Come on, not got all day. As I said, this game, this will be out on on the uh, Saturday. So, this I am recording this on the Friday. So, come on. Why is he doing this? What's he doing now? He's, he's making sub. He's put on some pace up front with Nilmar and Wellington. That's not going to phase me. Nothing's going to phase me. What was that, Eto? You shit bag who goes all the way to Makalaka for money. Oh, yeah, and I didn't know that um, Samba went to. Um, he went to Makachaka Chula, whatever it's called. Um, he, he got. Uh, Bananas th thrown at him, um, and he threw it back, and he's apparently getting done. I think three nil. Come at me, Eto with the rebound. Yeah, he did get a monk banana through at him uh, in the in the uh, Russian league, so he doesn't want to play there anymore. Uh, I think he wants to come back to England. I don't even know why he went over there. And the only reason I think is because of the money. Um, 
Really? Coffee stunned me up like a fucking dick. Michael like a Espier. fucking bitch, which I'm gonna beat. Oh, what a tackle. Steamed into the tackle. So important Look at that, too. Go on. Great tackle. He's got a chance. <gasps> what a goal! From Al Saldi, my left back. Oh, three star skills. Left back, Kevin Al Saldi. Or oh, whatever he's called. Roulette, three players, and bang! Boom! 4 0. Watch I got to Oh. Hope this guy doesn't quit out. That's going to be a piss take. So. Next game we have is. Norwich. Have I said Norwich versus Wolves? I don't think you have, but. Norwich versus Wolves. Wolves are the shittest team in the Prem at the moment. They have lost like three times, five nil in the past five weeks or something. Oh, that would have been a sick goal too. If I'm not speaking, I mean I'm concentrating. But um, yeah, Norwich versus Wolves. I think Norwich will win that quite comfortably. Uh, they are at home. They are mint at home. Um, I think they will win 3-1, three, 3-1 one, three, one to Norwich, uh, I'm predicting, 3-1 um, to Norwich, as, as they are at home and they're doing pretty well, um, Yeah, all the teams are really who've come up from the championship are doing well, apart from QPR and they've spent the most money, um, money doesn't buy you success I don't think, so... Make a run then, you fucking idiot. Only the keeper to beat. Oh, I'll take that. Oh, he's, oh, he's offside. That came off his player, though. I thought that doesn't count. Or oh, somewhere. But, yeah. Um, Wolves are the shittest team at Prem at the moment. Um, so, Norwich 3 1 win. At the carry. Come on, Vesuvia, let's, so. let's do some skill, Arinos. Fucking hell. Oh, now here's a chance to attack. This guy's actually alright at defending. So. Offside. Why are you offside there? Fucking hell. So on the next game is Sunderland QPR. That should be a good game, I think. Um, Sunderland have done really well since Martin O'Neill came in, and QPR spent loads of money. Um, and not well, they haven't got anywhere yet. Uh, they did win in. They did come back two 0 from Liverpool in the week. So we'll have to see how that goes on. I think that. Oh my God! Can't beat keepers these days. I don't know what it is. I think they've gotten better or something. Had that? Yes. No. So Sunderland win two one. I'm predicting, and uh, they are doing amazing at home. No, oh, got to got to win that there. Yes, well in. Shit, I didn't know you were there. But defending. You've got to beat him at all. <gasps> no! What am I doing? I tried doing them fancy fancy passes in the net. That deserves Sergio Knight for being too cocky. Um, shit. Oh, what a block. Shit, get it out, man. No. What's he doing? So, next game is... Oh, shit, come on. Yes. Next game is the... No, not to him. Fucking hell, how many offsides? Is he playing the offside trap or something? Next game is Swansea versus Everton. Swansea are at home and they are both doing. He just stands me up, doesn't he? 
Good Where's Keeper gets one of the match Neil as Mark. per usual? Every team I play, yeah. Keeper gets one of the match. Come on. Oh, fucking hell. How much power did he get behind that? So, Swansea v Everton, they're both in good form. Um, oh, no. Oh, fuck off. So, yeah. I think Swansea, I think that'll be a draw, actually. A one all draw. He's a cool, cool customer. Once he broke three of the back four, he was never going to miss with just the keeper to beat. Oh my god. So that, I think that's going to be a one all draw. Swansea are pretty good at home. They, are, they did beat City. So you never know anything could happen in that. Oh my god. Victor Valdez. Are you got 99 everything or summer? And the last game to finish off this commentary with a... No. Um, is Stoke City versus Man City. Um, Man City should be winning that, but Stoke are a rough team at home, so I don't know whether all these massive big players can handle the. Uh, fucking hell, how many corners do you want to give me? I've fucking missed everyone. Oh no, get it, yes. No, yes. So, Stoke v Man City. I would have said Stoke v City then, it is Stoke City. Um, come on, Al Saudi. Yes, come on, come on, Eto. Last goal to round off the episode. Oh, maybe not. No! Oh! Thought that were in, so Stoke v Man City. I think City will win that 2 1. Um, I have been IWL. It has been 4 1 from the uh, Russian League team. Eto got man of the match, and their keeper got a 9.2 rating with 13 saves, and mine made 2. So clearly did batter in there. If you did enjoy the video, please like and comment, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.